Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I just wanted to give you an update on my arcade cab. Now it's all wood and I think I'm gonna leave it all wood. I was thinking about staining it, but I might just put a protectant on this wood itself. I'm not gonna be able to add T-molding because I don't have a little router to route out the T-molding edges. I'm not worried about it as long as I can protect it from chipping with some good um, urethane or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use right now. I need to get a marquee printed up and I'm trying to decide what to do. I'd like to have a Neo Geo cab, but I'd also like to incorporate, you know, my ETA Prime logo into it. Last thing I need to do is get a bezel for the Dell 19 inch monitor that I have. I previously had a Samsung, but it blew up on me. So I had everything together, ready to make a video and the damn thing blew up two minutes later. Just died on me. One of the cool things that I added to this was a remote on and off switch. Now this is kind of dangerous if you're turning your Pi off with this remote switch. But in a previous video, I did an on and off button and I'm going to incorporate this with the relay inside of the unit. And this is what I have inside of the unit right now. I'll show you a picture on screen. I got one cable here. Now the six prong outlet didn't work out. You might've saw it in the picture. And that's because these are facing the wrong way for me. I need them right here. So it's a bit messy inside and I have two extension cables inside. That should be fixed this weekend as soon as I can go to Lowe's and get something that will plug into this remote on and off switch uh, dealio that I got inside of it. Let's turn it on and I'll show you how it looks. So I have some Logitech like K100 speakers that I gutted. That's the speakers in the top there in the marquee. Also using an LED bar light or a cabinet light. It gives off the correct color for me. And when that marquee's on there, it'll just light the marquee up really nice. The amp is 10 watts, but I want to replace the speakers. As you see, they're facing out. I need them to face down and I need to drill some holes or cut some holes there for some better speakers. But for now it does work, it works great for me. And this thing should be booting up very shortly. I'm running a version of a track mode and I've modified it so we have the system selection, just like the 32 gigabyte version that I put out. The thing is this is loaded up with junk and I really wanna get rid of everything except for arcade games. So I wanna keep MAME, FBA, Neo Geo, a lot of the shoot 'em up games, cause I want this to be a dedicated arcade game cabinet. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. I got that 19 inch Dell monitor. That's, it's a decent monitor and you can get them for real cheap on Craigslist. Now, I do have some missing artwork here and that's because I haven't renamed anything, but these are our systems that I'll never play. I just really want to keep like K, CPS1, CPS2, CPS3 and so on and so on. I'll do FBA, MAME, Neo Geo and get rid of Atari and stuff like that. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Atari, I love SNES, I love Nintendo games, but this is an arcade cabinet and I want it to have strictly shoot 'em ups, fighters, and side scrolling adventure games like Metal Slug. Let's zoom in a little closer and we'll get into a little bit of gameplay here. I'll just launch a game in CPS1 real quick. All right, CPS1. And we'll just do Punisher since we're here. Launch it up for us. Down here, I have my select and start button or insert coin and start button. Put some coins in, start it up. And I love the click on these cheap Chinese buttons here. These buttons are just knockoffs. They work great. My kids have played this for months playing um, Super Mario Bros and stuff like that. I got a five-year-old and a two-year-old and they have destroyed these buttons. They have abused them and they're still working fine. So for normal play at the house, these are definitely going to last you. If you are going to build something to have in, like let's say your bar or something, now you need to get legal ROMs to do that. But I would not suggest having these there because they're not gonna last a million pushes. 
I mean, I don't know if any of them are going to last a million, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. So yeah, it runs great. Sound works. I have it turned down right now. Um, 10 watts on those little speakers does sound good. It's a bit muffled by the marquee here. And I'm going to get this recut. Well, I'm going to recut this because I got to cut it low. It's plexiglass. And the guy actually totally messed it up. Like he couldn't cut it straight, even though he has the tools right there in front of him. So I tried to modify it a bit with an X-Acto knife. I just like to go in and I'm going to buy a brand new plexiglass cutter and have them cut it right there on their machine. Back out of here. And I mean, there's just too much stuff in here to even go through. And this is the infamous attract mode that uh, everybody hated me for. Let's turn it around and I'm just going to show you the inside. It's very messy right now. I need to get the wiring all tied up. I have an extra extension cord in there because my six outlet plug did not work out like I wanted it to. So the main thing is, here's the pie. This is in a flirt case and it keeps it very, very cool. I just did a carbon fiber top to it. This is the main guy right here. This is the on and off push button switch. Now, as you see, it has two outlets on it and I wasn't able to plug my six prong outlet into it. So I have another extension cord that actually takes up a lot of space in there. So it's real dirty right now. I mean, if you can live with that, you can just push it back in. And you're good to go. I mean, nobody else is gonna see it unless they open it up. So I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe, and let me know, do you think I should paint the cabinet or leave it wood? I love the wood, and I definitely have to either stain it or put a polyurethane coat on it, like a clear coat, just so it wouldn't get too weathered. But I do like the way it looks. Putting the T-molding on it is out of the question for me. I need to get another cab that has everything cut perfectly right from the factory. Like always, thanks for watching.